Hello, beautiful people, and happy Friday. <laughs> it's wonderful to get to see you guys, and um, I am just popping in, uh, as I typically do uh, on Fridays, just for a quick hello, and to do a quick Died For You Art deck poll. For those of you who don't know, I started creating these Died For You Art decks that have 47 cards, it's 47 different Dyed For You Art pieces featured on the front side and then the back side has just a word of encouragement, thought to ponder. I tell you down here which um, art piece it is that's on the front side. So if you wanna look up the full word, you can do that. And so anyway, so once a week, I typically will come on here and I have um, three decks that are technically available. And so I have all three decks right here in this lovely little baggie. And so let's see what we're going to talk about today. Hmm. Oh, this one right here. All right. Oh, interesting. I think we got this. It's always amazing to me because I will find that I'll pull the same ones over and over again. It's always fascinating to me. So the card that I pulled features the Tenacious Bloom art piece. And um, this was actually a prophetic portrait that was created for someone. And this is actually a variation of it. Sometimes I tweak them just a little bit before I put them on the front of the card. And it is the Tenacity card. And so the Tenacity card says, you were created to bloom regardless of circumstance. You are more tenacious than you know. So when life seems to throw obstacles in your path, just be still and allow the way through to be highlighted. For nothing can stop your forward progress, your growth, but you. So stay focused and keep blooming. This is just a beautiful reminder. I'm actually, this is speaking to me today too. Like sometimes it just feels like the way ahead is just hedged with thorns. Like God does that in Hosea. We've talked about this before where he'll block your path if you're headed a direction that he doesn't want you to head. And so sometimes you find your way blocked and it's a matter of just being still and letting the way that you are supposed to go reveal itself. And so that's that's the encouragement that I'm getting from this right now is that if you're in that moment that you're feeling like every direction feels blocked, I'm not entirely sure where to go. I have this situation that I don't know how to solve. Like sit and be still and allow the way forward to reveal itself because Holy Spirit is with us always and is always speaking. And we don't have to know the full path. We only need to know each step. And so be obedient to take the next step, even if you're not sure where that step is leading you. You don't have to know the entire path, right? We just have to know what is the next step and then what is the next step and what is the next step. So anyway, that's what I'm getting from this today. And that's not very long, but that's okay. And the puppies are... <laughs> are uh, doing well there. They, uh, for those of you who uh, missed it, I was sharing that uh, a couple of weeks ago, we got a new dog. She's a pup, so she's seven months and she's doing wonderfully, but like it's a full-time job just keeping, keeping the pup, you know, harnessed, <laughs> making sure everything's okay. So anyway, so I have us kind of blocked in here so that I could come on here and say hello to you guys. But anyway, I hope uh, this is a blessing for you guys today. So again, if the way ahead is, um, is not clear, just wait and be still and trust for the path to present itself. Because I just fully believe that spirit will highlight that path ahead. So anyway, blessings to you guys. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. And thank you for those of you who joined. It's not popping up and telling me names, so I can't say who, but I can see that people are here. So welcome and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. God bless you and happy worshiping.